Dr. Paul here with just a little intro about where did I go to medical school. Um, I went to Dartmouth Medical School in New Hampshire. Thanks for the video, Doc. <laughs> Well, it was his idea, where do you go to medical school? You could probably look it up. Anyway, Dartmouth is in Hanover, New Hampshire, and Lebanon, New Hampshire. Tiny, tiny little towns. And for this boy who grew up in Africa and had basically never seen snow but one trip to the U.S., uh, you know, in New Hampshire where Dartmouth is, it's snow from November to April or May. Um, and uh, that was quite an experience, but a great experience for me. I, uh, medical school was one of the toughest things I went through, especially the first two years where it's classroom from eight to five, and then the rest of your waking hours you need to study just to keep up. Um, that wasn't fun, but you know, it was a beautiful part of the country. The professors were amazing, and the clinical part I actually loved. Once we got to start seeing patients, uh, one of the things, being a remote school, they would let you do uh, rotations in different parts of the country. So I did my OBGYN in Compton Watts uh, in the LA area. Uh, that was an amazing experience, you know, sort of right in the heart of a very rough part of town. Yeah, medicine and gangster rap. Well, there you go, my first exposure. Uh, I did a, a family rotation in Tuba City, Arizona on the reservation with Navajos and the Hopi Nation and oh, what a wonderful experience that was. Just, just to get into a different culture, learn a little bit about, uh, you know, the Native American life that's there. Uh, Can you tell us about the peace pipe? experience. <laughs> JK, uh, just kidding. You know, my prompter here, forget it. <clears throat> no peace pipe for this boy. So anyway, what about your other rotations? Was that it? Those two? I also did my pediatrics rotation in Hartford, Connecticut. And that's where I fell in love with pediatrics. I'll tell you a funny story. I did my uh, internal medicine rotation and the professor there said I had to wear a tie. You see, I'm kind of the Hawaiian shirt. I've been in a Hawaiian shirt since I got out of high school. Oh well. Uh, I had to put on a tie or he was gonna fail me. I'm gonna do another video about that because ties are magnets for staphylococcus and it's been known to, to be a horrible way of passing infections to others. So there you go, professor. I've got tie free and I'm not transmitting as much disease. But anyway, internal medicine was just to me, you know, charts like this, you know, train wrecks of health dis diseases and very old people. I love old people, but it was like, you know, when you've really, at the end of your life and your body's falling apart, you're trying to like, I don't know, it, se it seemed somewhat over very, overwhelming. Very and hopeful, dog. Thank you. <laughs> overwhelming and what have you. Did my surgery rotation. <clears throat> I'm standing across the table from... Um, I forget his last name, we called him King Carl. He was the head of surgery and he was known to throw things in the uh, operating room and everybody feared King Carl. King Carl, he can't be alive today, I, sh I shouldn't have to worry about it. Rest in peace, King Carl. Rest in peace, thank you. But anyway, so I'm holding a retractor and we're doing surgery and he starts to get angry and I could see he was escalating to where things were gonna start flying and I looked across the table at him and says, you're not gonna start throwing things, are you, King Carl? He just turned red and he says, if you think you're ever going to get a surgery rotation from me, you've got another thing coming. I had just done my pediatric rotation. I had just decided I was going to be a pediatrician. And I said to him, no, actually, he said to me, he says, I, and I bet you're going to be a pediatrician, which I just had to laugh because that's exactly what I wanted to be. It seemed to me in my pediatric rotation that the pediatricians were down to earth, real people. They had real lives. Usually they had families, they loved kids. I don't know, parents love parents because parents come to us with their children. They're gonna give you their best. And you know, us adults, when we go to the doctor, we don't always tell them the whole story, right? So I, I found that pediatrics is just great. I love kids anyway, and, and um, it's, it's been a great choice for me. But Dartmouth was a great place to start, and I owe them a lot as they really did get me uh, that MD behind my name that sort of started the career. So thank you, Dartmouth. I'm Dr. Paul.